things that are on television, like our show right now. Um, last night, White House Chief of Staff and doctor who sees something he doesn't like on your x-ray, John Kelly, <laughs> was over on the Fox News and offered his opinion about all the Confederate statues being taken down. I think we make a mistake, though, and, and as a society and certainly as, uh, as individuals, when we take what is today accepted as right and wrong and go back 100, 200, 300 years uh, or, or more, it's inconceivable to me that you would take what we, we think now and apply it back then. Nope, sorry, a lot of people thought slavery was wrong back then. <laughs> For example, I'm going to go on a limb here, black people. In 1850, the United States had 3.2 million slaves. I think their rope review would have been pretty bad. Service was terrible, and we had to do it. One star, only because I can't give it zero stars. <laughs> but Kelly's historical scholarship didn't stop there. He also had an interesting take on the root causes of the Civil War. The lack of an ability to compromise uh, led to the Civil War. And, of course, we all remember John Wilkes Booth's famous cry as he shot Lincoln. Can't we at least talk about this? <laughs> what do you mean there was a lack of compromise? The Civil War happened because of compromise. The Missouri Compromise. The Three-Fifths Compromise. You're a general, and you don't know why the Civil War happened? What do you think caused World War II? A zoning issue? <laughs> I want to build a strip mall in the Sudetenlands. <laughs> Maybe some mixed-used housing in Poland. What's so wrong with that? <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm being unfair. And maybe a lack of compromise really was at the heart of the Civil War. I mean, take this letter from Confederate soldier Buford Nathaniel Jessup to his wife. My dearest Elizabeth, I regret to say that the tide has turned against us here at Antietam. The Union Army steadfastly refuses compromise. We keep saying, maybe we can just have slaves like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. <laughs> and they're all like, nah. And it's like, okay, what about every other weekend? But they won't give us any slaves. They're being total Nazis about this. <laughs> Which is weird, because Nazis aren't even a thing yet. <laughs> well, I've just been bayoneted by my brother. Gotta go. Or maybe, it's a true story, or maybe <laughs> Kelly knows better and is just being willfully ignorant because, as the chief of staff, he's now forced to defend the positions of an idiot. But we cannot judge John Kelly by today's standards. He said it yesterday. <laughs> we'll be right back.